In Unit C of Excel, we're going to be formatting a worksheet. To begin with, we're going to format the cell values so that our worksheet looks like we need for it to. You'll notice in this worksheet we have dates and we have numbers. Some of our numbers are currency, some are percentage, and we want them to represent that. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to click inside of cell D4 and and select the range D4 through D32. Once I have this range selected, I'm going to click the Accounting Number Format button. Here in the Numbers grouping, the Accounting Number Format button is the dollar sign. You'll notice that now these numbers represent currency. The next set of numbers that I'm going to select are F4, through H32. And however you choose to select this range, you can go across and select all three columns and then come down, or come down and then select the three columns. That's up to you. These numbers I want to have a comma style. So again, I come to the number grouping and I'm going to select the comma style. Next, I'm going to select the range J4 through J32, and you'll notice that these numbers are a large decimal number. I want this range to be in a percent style, so I'm going to select the number format list arrow, and I'm going to click percentage. So here in my number list grouping, I'm going to select percentage you'll see it turned it into a percent. I could have also selected percentage from the drop down. From here I can increase or decrease my percentage. Next I'm going to select B4 through B31. You'll notice in column B, I have dates. These are individual dates. So I'm going to select B4 through B31. And on this one, I'm going to click the dialog box launcher. This is the down arrow here. So I'm going to select it. It comes up to date. And I, the date I want is the 14-March-12. That gives me the day, the month, the year. So I'm going to select OK. Let's try that again. Mine didn't take. Select it and OK. That time it took it. OK, next I'm going to change the value in the individual the invoice due date. So I'm going to select this row, C4 through C31. And this time I'm going to right click and I'm going to format my cells and I'm going to select just 14 March. I'm not going to have the year included and I'm going to say OK. Now I can click outside of the box and I can do Control Home and Control Home will always take you to cell A1.